Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. We're going to start in four minutes, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, okay awesome. teacher. Okay, good evening. One more time. Good evening. Welcome, students. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Everything okay, teacher, and you? Very nice. Awesome. Everything good, teacher. Awesome. Very nice. Perfect. What about you, Devi? How are you? I'm so so, teacher. Why so so? What happened? Uh, uh, Life problems. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hope everything gets better. Okay. Thank you. Okay, awesome. Uh, Roberto, how are you today, man? How's everything? Uh, well... Uh, in the morning, I, I had a problem with my car in the traffic. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, and I, I have to uh, go to the, the me mechanic. Mechanic, and yes. I, I arrived to my work too late. <laughs> oh, okay, perfect. So uh, it was like some problems with the machine, right? Yes. Okay, awesome. Well, that's part of the life. So we had to be able to afford it, right? <laughs> okay. Yes. Very nice, awesome. So, well, you had like 
almost a week of vacations because there were like four days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you have four days off of the English class, right? <laughs> almost a week. <laughs> okay, very nice. You were almost a week in vacation. Okay. Uh -huh. So what do you do in those days? In my case, teacher, rest. Have a lot of rest. I oh. didn't go out. Um, well, I I went out the maybe the Thursday because um, the shopping, the food mm -hmm. of all the the, the how, I don't know how to say quincena, but that. <laughs> okay. The okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> the the casual shopping of the house and then rest and also I was um, kind of study because I I already know that I I don't I didn't remember a lot of the basic things uh, so I was studying in, in those basic things but the structure of, of some sentence or something like that. And also, um, to, yesterday we made a parrillada. Oh, okay. The final of the vacation. <laughs> oh, okay. Today, uh, was very funny because it wasn't a good day, but also uh, because I I didn't sell anything, but and it wasn't so bad maybe because it was a very busy day and I, I didn't feel anything about the day it was like a short day so according to that it was uh it has to be a sad day but it turns that not I didn't feel anything it was okay okay awesome very good that's nice Okay, perfect. So, um, well, you enjoy your four days off, so that's good, right? Okay, let's listen to Walter. Good evening, mister. How are you? Good evening, teacher. So, um, we are talking about what did you do in, in your four days off that you had these past days? Because you got uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? So, almost a week, four days off. So what did you do on those days? Uh, three teams, I think. Uh, rest principal and another uh, run, running a lot because a lot run. Okay. And okay. in the end, uh, working too because uh, I'm working with co-workers in USA and, and they don't have holidays. Oh, so you work with the uh, American schedule? Uh, yes. Oh, awesome, very nice. So do you work in a call center or something like that? No, um, manufacturing. Oh, manufacturing, awesome, okay, that's perfect. Very good, okay. Uh, let me listen to Vanessa. How are you, Vanessa? Hello, teacher. All good. Good. Okay, very nice. So what did you do during your four days of vacation? Because we, you had almost a week of vacation, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Nothing interesting, teacher. Only I stay in my house and I, I read too much. <laughs> okay. And I, I watch some some movies and I did exercise make exercise or did Do, I did did okay. did exercise yes I did exercise and uh, all did that nothing interesting nothing interesting okay very nice awesome very good what about you teacher well um you rest yeah I think I rest but uh on the 15th, I went to play with the school I was working last year because uh, the main character asked me to help me. So I went to play with a trumpet and it was a little bit sunny. So I got like uh, tired in the afternoon, right? 
But then um, Friday, I stay home until the middle of the day. Then I went to eat something with my family. And on Saturday, well, I went to visit um, my wife's uh, parents. And then I went to watch a game too. On Sunday too, I went to watch a game. So that was my, my vacation. Not except the vacation was like casual day, right? <laughs> Okay, very nice. Um, let me listen to uh, Adela. Good evening, Adela. Okay, uh, let me listen to uh, Mariano. Good evening. Good evening, Jeff. Okay, how are you, Mariano? Hi, Jeff. Everything okay? Very nice, awesome. So, what do you do during your um? vacations well four days off right uh, the saturday was my my girlfriend birthday birthday and go to the to diner this day the, the friday oh, okay and so it was your girlfriend birthday you went to have dinner yes awesome. and the saturday i work in the morning you worked in the morning yes Awesome, very and good. Sunday I rest every day. Awesome, perfect. That's nice. Okay, very good. Awesome. So right now I'm gonna ask Rosibel. Well, you had more than four days. I don't know if you're still on vacation or not, but you told me that you <laughs> the last week you were in a in a trip, right? So you were on vacations. So yeah. you already started the vacations before. I don't know if you're yeah. still on vacation or not. <laughs> Yeah, it's correct, teacher. Uh, we as uh, we have to ten days uh, in vacation for the uh, well, four days last week and enjoy with my family and uh, we we have we have a uh, fifteen parties with my uh, my nephew nephew. Cousins. Cousins, cousins. Daure cousin, Daure cousin. And Saturday, um, no, um, Domingo, Sunday. Sunday, yes. At, uh, Sunday in the morning, uh, return to, to El Salvador. Mm -hmm. So now you're not on vacation no more. No, tomorrow I will, I will work. <laughs> this okay. day is the finished vacation. <laughs> and you're finishing vacation with a class. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very nice. Excellent. What about you, Aminda? So what do you do during your four days of vacation? Well, days off. Okay, hello. Um, hello. Raising my house. Okay. And this is my, my mother only. Oh, that's perfect. That's good. Okay. Very nice. So okay. like uh, you, you enjoy the time with your mother. That's good, right? Yeah. Awesome. Very nice. Carlos Membreño. Good evening, mister. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Very, very nice, mister. Um, what do you do during your four days off the last week? Uh, two days I, I went to the beach and and other two days I rest. <laughs> okay, very nice. So you you went to the beach for two days and you went to stay there now at night. Yes. Yes. Awesome, very nice, good, perfect. Thanks. Okay, very nice. I think I'm just missing Oscar. Good evening, Oscar. Okay, very nice. Perfect. Uh, um, okay, Oscar, yes. Yes, teacher, I, I have a call phone. Give me one minute, please. Okay, very nice, awesome. Okay, very good. So it's really important to listen to you. What do you do? Because in that, in, in that way you can like have a conversation with me and tell me, and of course you stay English, right? That is really important. Okay, so. Welcome to the class again. We're going to start with the with the class, and of course, I hope you have charged 
all the energy necessary in order to keep going with this model because you're going to uh, be working three weeks more with us, right? That's really important. Of course, uh, we're going to start with attendance list. So as soon as you listen your name, please let me present, okay? Okay. Adela Trinidad Gonzalez Consuelo. Present. Okay. Aminda René Figueroa de Manzano. Present. Okay. Belén Batre García. Present, teacher. Okay. Carlos William Embreño Núñez. Present. Okay. Debbie Jasmine Giron Ramirez. Present. Okay. Domingo Alexander González. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Jose Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Ok. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Ok. Oscar Anulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Ok. Rosibel del Carmen López. Present teacher. Ok. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Sonia Ivette Alvarenga. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Present teacher. Ok. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Ok. Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. Ok. Very nice. Awesome, very nice. Okay, very good. Uh, okay, students, what do you remember about the last class? What do you remember? I know you were on vacations and you were studying too much the, the notebooks and all the notes you, you took, right? That's so, not fair, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody told, well, Belen just the, was the one student who told me I took a time in order to read the structure of basic things I was forgetting, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But what the rest? What do you remember about the class? Mm -hmm. Nothing? I just remember that it's about a conversation. We, we, wow. we, we did a practice from a conversation, but yeah. but but I didn't remember because I I started at nine. So it, ah, was the future? No, is the second conditional? Yes, the second conditional. So the last time we were talking about second conditional, right? Yeah. What do you remember about the second conditional? Le toca alguien más. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's not your turn. Okay, the rest of the class, what do you remember about second condition? I remember the 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 they use the the verbs in simple present. Okay. And the results of the cause is in the future. future. No? Yes, yes. It is. It, okay. Is it is a saying to the possibility or not? Yes, it's a possibility. Okay. Uh, it can be like true, but it's also more than a possibility, right? Okay. Okay, very nice, awesome, very good. Okay, so with this uh, conditional, we're able to talk about possible future results that we can have if we do something right now, right? Uh, so we were like uh, watching a presentation when we were talking about something that, that uh, how can we use the first condition in order to talk about possibilities in the future. So it's something that you do right now, but the result's going to be later on, right? So it's a future possibility. So uh, you talk about future, you can use will, going to, right? be going to. And of course, uh, we can use instead of if, we can use when, right? 
Do you remember we were talking about? We can use instead of if, we can use when, and we can yeah. use unless, right? It's okay about the commas too. Yes, the commas. When we start with the connector, like if or when at the beginning of the sentence, so it means we have to separate another one with a comma, right? And if we start vice versa, we start first with the result. So the if or when is in the middle, so we don't need comma. So we have two different ways to use this. Okay, very nice. Okay, so those first condition is going to be useful for you because you're going to have a way to talk. Uh, for example, uh, if you want to talk about business, right? You can have like something that's going to happen right now and what is going to happen in the future. And you created like some uh, sentences talking about um, what can happen if you invest in a different way. Do you remember some sentences about uh, investing in, in uh, business, right? And the way you can in invest money. I remember there was a student who created sentence uh, like, uh, if, if you invest in Bitcoin, you will have problem, something like that. I don't remember something like that, right? That you created the last time. Okay, perfect. So uh, of course we have to work in the book because we have some activities to continue doing. So right now, I don't know if you can watch the screen. Are you able to watch the screen? Yes. Okay, very yes. nice. So the last time we were talking about the seven rights, right? Right product, right place, right customer, right quantity, right condition, right time, and right practice. Do you remember? Okay. Okay, very nice. Awesome. So um, right now we have like another activity which is going to be to match these concepts here from the number with the one who is here. So you're going to match which one is the correct in order to use it, okay? So you're going to match the term. And of course, then you're going to work in these charts. So in this case, you're going to uh, talk about inbound logistic and outbound logistic. Repeat, inbound logistic. Inbound logistic. Inbound. Now repeat. Inbound logistic. Okay, very good. Let's go with the next one. Outbound logistic. Outbound, outbound logistic. Okay, in inbound logistic, uh, it says that it concerns a relationship between companies and their suppliers. Okay, companies and their suppliers. Well. While outbound logistic deals with how companies get products to their customers, okay? So after that, you're going to choose which ones are the ones that are in the first chart, uh, which ones are the ones that are in the second chart, or which one is the one that goes alone, right? So you're going to be able to choose those and to put them in the charts. So lo que van a hacer es que van a elegir de estos que están acá, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cuál es el orden que tienen que tener, ¿verdad? Para poder llegar acá, de customers. So aquí pueden ser dos, aquí pueden ser dos, aquí pueden ser uno, o puede ser al revés, uno acá, dos aquí y dos acá, okay? You're going to think which one is the correct. But before I want you to pronounce, customer service, repeat. Customer service. Customer service. Very nice. Lynette, the next one, warehouse. 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 Transport. 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 Production planning. Production, Production planning. planning. Production planning. Production planning. Purchasing. 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 Okay. Purchasing. Okay, very nice. So right now you're going to be working in pairs with this first chart and this other one, okay? 
I'm gonna push you in pairs and now I'm gonna be checking how do you work on it, okay? Is everything clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, like water, right? Let me check right now. Okay, there we go. If you have any problem, just uh, call me in order to get to your room, okay? Belén ya le mandé donde está Aminda. Creo que me parece conectada dos veces. Hola. Hello. Hola, hola. Okay, now, okay, Belen, you're here, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, I mean that. So keep working with uh, Belen. Okay, perfect. Okay. So we're going to. Mm, artistic. The network rate among. If amongst different companies producing and yes. distribution products is a supply chain. The network, different companies production. Yes, it, that is, I think, yes, supply chain. Okay. The ongoing process of moving part and product into and out of a company location, distribution. Distribution, yes. The coordination of an operation involving many people, facilities or supply. The coordination of an operate operation involving many people's facilities or suppliers. It's a supplies chain. I'm not sure in this case. What is the meaning of procurement? Procurement, I think, is uh, compras, algo así como compras, creo. Which one is the word that you Pro have problems? Hello, teacher. Yes. I procurement the, is like the, compras. The word the meaning of procurement. Procurement. Ah, uh, procurement. Pro ah, so you're talking that you have problems in the word that it's on the chart, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like like purchasing is something you get from some different way. 
It, it's like mm -hmm. acquisition. Acquisition. It's like an acquisition. Es una, es como una adquisición que usted hace de algo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, acquisition. Mm. The coordination of our operation involving, involving many people's facilities or supplies. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's a result. Well, not that I'm mm -hmm. Well, the, the next one. Uh, the, process the process of, of keep, keeping something in good condition. Good condition. Maintains. Mm -hmm. Maintains, yes. The act of obtaining or buying goods and services, procurement, I think. What? The act of obtaining or buying buying goods and service. I think this is procurement. Oh, yes. Yeah. And the last one, the amount of a good or service of for sale. The amount of our service of wealth for sale. Para. Yes. Hello, teacher. We have a question. Yeah, tell me. Uh, the only ex exercise that we have to do is the seven one. The the seven, not the six one is the first. Ah, damn. okay. <laughs> we didn't remember if the six, uh, we did in the last class. So that no, was a question. You, you did in the exercise four that this almost looks like the same, but it's different, right? Okay. Uh, but you didn't do the six, and now you're going to finish after that the number seven. Ah. We already did the number seven. <laughs> okay, so right now let's go with the number six. Okay, thank you, teacher. Awesome, uh, very nice. What is the meaning of procurement? Procurement. Okay, procurement is like a way to say, for example, that you um, get something. It's I... like, like the way of acquisition, something like that. Okay. Can you, can you um, repeat the pronunciation? Acquisition. No, no, no. The pro procur uh, procurement, 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 procurement. Okay, nice. Oh. Thank you, teacher. Oh. Okay, welcome. Okay. Okay. So, and then logistics, supplies, procurement, distribution, maintenance, inventory management, and supply chain. Si nos vamos por descarte, solo nos queda uno, siete, cuatro, seis, tres. Yes, we have the number two supplies. The supply chain is the, the, the coordination uh, and of Primero comprar bienes. Uh -huh. Of obtaining or buying goods and service procurement is for me is procurement, but I'm not sure. The next one is the amount of a good or service offered for sale, but the least is. Is inventory minus? I don't know. <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> All selection is wrong. Okay. 
inventory management. Procurement. Inventory management. I don't know what is that. The coordination of an operation involving the amount of a goods or service offered for sale. Carlos, what happened with your classmate? Hello, teacher. I, I think my classmate is not here. Okay, but you didn't uh, call me in order to help you. I'm moving to I, a different room, okay? Okay, I, I don't know how to call you in this breakout room. Oh, here, uh, you have, for example, um, no. let me tell you, here you have an opportunity to um, to ask for help. Uh, let me check here, Mole. Yeah, so the thing is that I'm an administrator, that's why it's Oh, different. ask for help? Yeah, yeah, Question you mark. can. Yeah, you have the, the short there because you are like, you are not the administrator, but right now, because I'm the administrator, I have not that that bottom, but you you already have it, right? Yes, I can see him. Okay, I'm gonna move you with a different room in order to let you work, okay? Okay, thanks. Okay, right, welcome. People exist, they almost a good service offering per se. Uh -huh. Sí, creo que sí. Quiero ver. Y ya terminamos con el tiempo y algo. No. Okay. Eh, así dejamos. Así. Sí, pues sí, sí, sale mal y la arreglamos. <risa> <risa> pues, pues que sí, porque por ejemplo, en la 4 dice distribution, de un proceso muy par, un producto en Company location. Uh, pero me conviene en in inventory management. Quiero ver dónde está la 6. The network location a more different company production and distribution product. Uh, okay. Okay. Inventory lo siento como que es administración de inventario, dice esto. Inventory uh -huh. management. Pero la administración de inventario es mover posiciones. Y, por ejemplo, aquí creo que es esta. The ongoing process o moving parts. Estás moviendo partes y productos dentro y fuera de la compañía de location. Y le pusimos distribution. Va. Pero si sí. distribución es para mover también. El inventory management. Logistic is the coordination of our operation, ¿verdad? The coordination of operation involving many people. Yo creo que sí, porque esto incluye sí. la logística de todo. Uh -huh. La coordinación de la operación. Ahí sí, bien. ahí sí creo que estamos bien. Pero inventory management lo pusimos en la ceiba. The network. The network. Uh -huh. the what, what is, sorry, Carlos, what is the no supply chain? Uh, the answer the, that we have, Carlos said that is not the supply process. chain. Yes. I, I think the, this answer is... Ah, sí, tenés razón, porque supply chains es la cadena de abastecimiento, es como yo me abastezco como, como, como empresa. Y entonces eso sería de network created amongst different companies producing, producing and distributing distribuir product. products. Sí, tenés razón. Entonces aquí sería siete. Y el proceso, el proceso para proveer eh, productos y almacenarlos para, para otros negocios, para la venta de, de consumidores sería... Supplies. Supplies, vea. Uh -huh. Okay. Y nos falta, ¿cuál nos falta? Distribution. Logistics. No. 
logistics, the coordination operation with SS, the coordination is an operation uh -huh. que involucra muchas personas, facilidades y proveedores, sí, logistics. Ok. What do you say, Belen? For me, it's okay. Everything is good. Okay. And If you then... want, you can share the other, the second part, because we already did. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. The exercise number one is finished. Number six. And the number seven. Okay. The first is production planning. Yeah. Then percent per purchasing. Production planning. And then purchasing. A comprar. Yep. Then transporting. Oh, purchasing. Okay. And transport. I, I think the transport is the second shop the second i think transport transport and and warehouse yeah yes yeah okay transport sorry warehouse and The last one is customer service. Yes, the last one is customer service. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, one, three. Complete. Yay. Okay. So, terminamos. Yep. Y el teacher ya se fue. Ah, no, ahí está. <risa> ya regresé, ya regresé. Ok. <risa> We're finished. The two exercises, teacher. Ok, very nice. They're good, you're good. Ok. Or, or maybe customer service in the last step two with purchasing. I don't okay. know. I agree with the idea because customer service is more near to the customers. And push. And purchasing is more near to the supplier. But I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I have a question. But who who is supporting uh, to the customer? Is is supplier or is the customer? Supplier of the customer customer the first contact to the customer is customer Mama, service yes and this for charging i think the definition is i'm not sure about is talking about for charge for charging about customer or purchasing about suppliers. Es decir, en español, estas 
este, este, este proceso de compras es relacionado a la compra del cliente o la compra de compradores. Yo lo entiendo que es compra, pero de customer. Ok. And so, I move to the last box. Yes, I, I think, think it's okay I, for me, but uh, I don't know, sure. Okay. Uh -huh. What is the definition of port charging? We search here. Port charging. charging is called? Is compra in Spanish. The activity of buying supplies for the company. <laughs> Dice que la, la actividad de comprar suministros para la compañía. Es la organización de adquisición de bienes y servicios. Okay, awesome. Do you finish already? Yes, teacher. Okay, very nice. So we're going to check if uh, you got it correctly. Okay, let me check here. No, you have a problem here. Okay, awesome. Okay, let me check right now. Yes, so we have here this page. Okay, can you watch the screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, awesome. So these are like concepts that you're going to get familiar with because are concepts that you really need about business, right? So those are the concepts that you really need to know. Okay, for example, we have the number, um, the first parenthesis, which is the number that you have about process of, of supplying goods to the stores, Another business to sell to customers. This one. Number four. Okay, Debbie with her classmate got number four, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the rest of the teams. Number two. Number two, teacher. Okay, very nice. Number two. Okay, awesome. The rest? The rest? Do you have number two or number four? The same, number two. Number two. Okay, awesome. Very nice. Okay, I would like to um, 
Vanessa, can you please read this uh, this concept that is marked? Okay. Process of supplying goods to stores and other businesses that sell to consumers. Okay, process of supplying goods to the stores and other businesses that sell to customers. Okay, in this case, what we're going to use here is number four. Okay, is distribution because it's a process of supplying goods to a store, meaning. Is the process enough supplying good to store and other businesses that sell? What is the meaning of goods in this context? Goods, in este caso, es eh, cuando hablamos de productos. Oh, okay. Okay, yes. goods. Yes, supplying goods to a store, ¿verdad? A proveerle productos a las tiendas o a otros negocios para venderlos, ¿verdad? Los clientes, okay. In this case, distribution, process of supplying, right? Proceso de proveer, right? Okay, is a distribution because you distribute to different companies. Okay, very good. Let's go with the next one. Uh, let me ask um, Adela, can you please read this? The network creates among different companies producing and distribution product. Okay, the network created created amongst different companies producing and distributing product. Okay, which number do you have there? Number seven. Okay, number seven. Another one. Number seven to the train. Number seven to show. Number seven. Okay, very nice. The train is number one. Uh, Ros Rosibel, do you think it's number one? Yvette. No, seven. So, Yvette, it's number one. Okay, very nice. Yes. Okay, the network created amongst different companies producing and distributing products. Okay, in this case, we got number seven, supply chain. Okay, it's like, it's, it's como, es como decir una red de distribución practicamente, ¿verdad? It's a supply chain. So it's a network created. Cuando decimos network, puedes funcionarnos como una red, no solamente electrónica, ¿verdad? Sino un, un método que ellos tienen, ¿verdad? Y cuando dice aquí la palabra clave, amongst. Entre las diferentes compañías, ¿verdad? Productoras y distribuidoras de productos. Right? Okay, very nice. So it's number seven in here. Very nice. Let go, let's go with the next one. Okay, uh, let me listen to Debbie. Can you help me to read this concept? The ongoing process of moving parts and product in and out of a company location. Okay, the Number ongoing six. process of moving parts or products into and out of a company's location. So right now is? Number six. Number six. Okay, the rest. Number one. Number, one. number six, two. Number six, two. Okay, very nice. And not, there are many sixes and just one number one. Okay, this is... In our is case, we have the four one. Number but four obviously one. Obviously, it's not correct because the first mm -hmm. one is the four one. Oh, yes, yes. We already have the four one in the first one. Right? Okay. So right now it's number six, okay? Inventory management, okay? The ongoing process of moving parts and products into and now to a company's location, okay? Very nice, awesome. Let's go with the next one. 
Uh, let me listen to Rosivel. Can you please read this concept? Sure. The coordination on our operation involving many people, facilities, or supplies. Okay, the coordination of an operation involving many people, facilities or supplies. Which number? Number one. One. Okay, what about the rest? Mm -hmm. Number one, two. Number one, two, teacher. Okay. Number one, two, sir. It's number one, awesome, very nice. Okay, awesome. Let's go with the next concept. Uh, let me listen to, um, let me check here. Rosibel, I didn't ask you, right? Oh, yeah, teacher. Oh, yeah, yes, you were the, the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. Carlos. Okay, the process of keeping something in good condition. Okay, the which, keep. Which number which do you have? Number five. Number five. The pro okay, the process of keeping something in, in good condition. Maintenance. Maintenance. Okay. Okay, do someone have something different? No, no teacher. Okay, yes, is number five. Maintenance, repeat, maintenance. 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 Okay, let's go with the next one. The act, okay, very nice. Let's, let's listen to Salvador. The act, the act of obtain or buy any good and services. Okay, the act of obtaining or buying goods and services. So which one do you have there? Number three. Number three. Num number three. Procurement, right? Yes. Procurement, okay, number three. What does it mean procurement, teacher? Here is the word, obtaining. It's like to get something, obtain something. Mm -hmm. Es como agarrar algo, ¿verdad? Obtener algo. Okay. okay. And buying good or buying good or service. So it's, it's, like, it's, it's similar to the way of purchasing. Okay. Purchasing is the one that you buy something. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the last one, the man of good uh, services uh let me listen to mariano can you please read this one the amount of a good or service offered for sale the amount of good or service offered for sale so that is number two supplies supplies okay awesome bring it okay right now i want you to repeat after me I want you to use the micro off the uh, micro microphone on, sorry, because I want you to listen the pronunciation. Okay, if you can turn yeah. on the microphone because I want you to listen the pronunciation. Logistics. 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 Supplies. 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 Procurement. 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 Distribution. 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 Maintenance. 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 Inventory management. Inventory management. Inventory management. Supply chain. Okay, is there any word that you have some difficulties in order to pronounce? 
¿Alguna palabra de las que están acá en este cuadro que tengan dificultad para pronunciar? Procurement. 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 Repeat procure. Procurement. 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 Okay, very nice. Ongoing. Very nice. Ongoing. 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 Among. Among. Amongst. 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 Okay. Another word. Obtaining. 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 Okay, I was listening to you when this word, I think you have problem. Distributing. 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 Yes, you can pronounce in both way, British or American. Distributing or distributing. Distribute. 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 View, distributing. Distributing. Okay, or distributing. Distributing. Okay. Uh, distributing. Was, okay, which, which were more? Uh, fac facilities. Facilities. Okay. You, you can Fac pronounce with two ways, facilities, or facilities, mm -hmm. both one are correct. Facilities. Okay, so you, if you pronounce facilities, it's British pronunciation. If you pronounce facilities, it's American pronunciation. Okay, amount. 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 Okay, uh, I guess, I think that's, uh, this word. Created. 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 Okay, very nice. Awesome. So let's go with the next part. We're going to the next part. So this is a chart that you're going to uh, create in uh, uh, started from the suppliers. So in the in bond logistics, got into the customers outbound logistics, right? So which one do you have in the first chart? ¿Cuál pusieron en el primer cuadro? Customer Production Plan. Y Purchasing. Okay, tienen? In my case, we, we put with Debbie Customer Service and Purchasing. Mm -hmm. I have Production Planning and Purchasing. Okay, very nice, very good. The rest? First, uh, first of all, we choose uh, production planning and then purchasing. Purchasing? Purchasing, yes. yes. Okay. Then transport. Transport, okay, very nice. What about the rest? I think I think first production planning and then warehouse transport and the last one purchasing and customer service. Okay, in this chart you got uh four production planning. Oh production planning, okay, very nice. Okay, excellent. Sure. Uh, yes, well in, in our case we have uh we have a doubt because um, in my case, I think it's about if I have a company. And, but then we thought it's about a, a, another company. And, and, and that makes me, feel, makes me think the same as the partner uh, said before, that the purchasing isn't the final. Because I thought it was in the case of my, of my company, because if, I, if, if the company was mine, why I have to uh, 
purchase something because I produce her. So uh, I don't know, it's kind of confusing, but in order to, to the, the, the company, it's not my, it, it would be the production planning, purchasing, transport, warehouse, and customer service. Okay, so, very nice, awesome, very good. Okay, in, here we have, our, yes, 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 tell me. In, in our case, we analysis first customer service, something required, uh, uh, some, some things, mm -hmm. and sell, and after this, uh, we film a provision planning in warehouse, in that, in the M, transport the product. Okay, very nice, awesome. Okay, here we have the concepts. Look at inbound logistics is the one that we have here, right? Mm -hmm. It says concerns and the relationship between companies and their suppliers. So that's the meaning of inbound logistics. And then we have the meaning of outbound logistics. Deals with the companies get products to their customers, deals with how company get products to their customers. So in the first one, I think all of you agree with purchasing. Repeat, purchasing. 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 Okay, when we talk about purchasing, we're talking about compras, verdad? Something that you mm -hmm. buy for, right? Okay. There is purchases. So we have number one purchases, it's correct. In the second one, uh, uh, the second word that we choose here in the same chart is a warehouse. Do you know the meaning of warehouse? Bodega. Bodega. Yes. So it's the meaning of purchasing in a warehouse, right? Because you, between companies, inbound logistics. So you bought between companies, right? Okay, very nice. Then we have the second chart. So which one do you have in the second chart? Production planning. Okay, very nice. The rest. Yes, it's production production planning. Yes, because after you buy the the the, the things in the warehouse. So you need to make a product planning, right? You need to organize how you're going to provide these products to the uh, companies, another company, so or your or your customers, right? So you need to make that. Okay. And do you think is there is something more there, or you have to go to a different one, to the transport? Transport. Okay. And here is when it comes in the in the third chart. So we got customer service because it's a customer service and the transport because it's the last step in order to get to the outbound logistic. So the last part is uh, the transport and the customer service because first you need to purchase in, in the warehouse and then you need to make a plan about the products. And after that, you're going to customer service and transport. What is the first customer service and then transport or transport and customer service? Customer service and transport. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, both of them are laying the order. It's not the problem, right? Okay, now, is, there, is everything clear? Yes. It's okay. Okay, very nice. Here we're going to have another part of the class. Uh, it's uh, going to be about this one. Um, here we have the first uh, adjective that we're going to follow. Can you please, uh, Roberto, can you please read this part that is marked? 
Okay. I will be able to express the advantages of outsourcing a 3PL service provider. Okay. Express, express, I'm sorry, I will be able to express the advantages of outsourcing, right? Outsourcing in 3PL service provider, okay? We're going to start here with a question. Have you heard the term third-party logistic before? Okay, students, have you heard that name before? Have you ever heard third party? Third party. Yes, yes, the third party and the outsource service or yes. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about that? About the outs uh, outsourcing? Yes. Outsourcing, uh, is in the case when uh, one company uh, should contract or contract other company to give uh, or do some sort of service or, 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 or buy a product. Okay. In your, in your production process or in your service process. Because uh, the, this world, apply to the service and the product company. It's okay. cheaper. It's cheaper, okay, very nice, awesome. What about the rest? Yes, and also it's, it's another company that provides services that maybe, like I said before, it's cheaper than if the company do it for her uh, all sales and and not only a service, it's uh, also uh, can function like giving uh, the employees uh, and gave all the, I don't know how to say, but no solo se trata de empleados. It's also about uh, take care of the employees. O sea, the, the, the company only pay for the services and the outsourcing has to do any, anything, everything. 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 It's the, the, the own human resource uh, that basically the, the company is, doesn't have to do anything with that kind of employees. Just the place, share the place with them. Okay, so in other words, is like the way to look for somebody else or some company else to do what you have to do. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yes. I have an example for third party logistics. Okay, very nice. In my company, uh, they pay an, another uh, company for mm -hmm. the alquiler. Yes. How do you say alquiler? Lease for, or leasing? Yeah, leasing or rent. It depends on how we. Yeah. For it's more appropriate rent for, for yeah, rent it, it, uh, is that, another is, warehouse. Yeah, it's a, a, ah, Okay. Uh huh. Okay, to rent another warehouse. Uh huh. In the banks, in the in the in the banks, have happens a lot. Because all the banks have uh, a lot of outsourcers working. Uh, it's because they have uh, her own employees and also have uh, another employees for an outsourcer. It's all because the sales. Okay, the sales, the sales. Okay, the very sales. nice. See, so. Okay, so in another words, you already answered this part. Why do companies use three PLs uh, in the case, right? So why do companies use third-party logistics? So you talk about because uh, it's cheaper, so it's better because you don't do anything. So responsibilities are not on you as companies. Uh, it is in another company, right? That is in charge of doing that, right? Okay. Exactly. Okay, here we have a number of steps 
to outsource a third party logistic provider. So we're going to read this. Uh, can you please, Aminda, can you please this, read this one? Okay. Uh, develop a detailed plan for the 3PL selection process. Evaluate interview and select. Review the checklist of 3PL capabilities. Do an internal assessment on your current and future needs. Okay, thank you. Here we have the, the first one, develop. Develop a detailed plan for the 3PL selection process. Okay, very nice. So the balance, right? The next one is evaluate, interview and select. Awesome. We have another one. Review the checklist of the 3PL capabilities. Capabilities, repeat, capabilities. Capabilities. Okay, and here we have the next one. Do an internal assessment of your current and future needs. So an internal assessment of your current and future needs. So this is some steps to outsource a third party logistic provider. So this is one of the steps. So do you know some other steps that you think are the ones that can handle in here? Algunos otros tips que usted conoce que pueden entrar acá en este? No? Okay. And here was, we have another part of of much term. So much term related to the logistic to their manage to the minutes of the right. Here we have transportation, private fleet management, freight claim insurance, cargo insurance, small package services. So we're going to um to do this part. Okay, I'm sorry because the the, the docs okay. So we're going to work in this chart, chart number three, and then we're going to have um, a, a, a opportunity to create a, a debate, a discussion. So you're going to discuss these three concepts, right? Or these two uh, things in order to think about the following advantages of fighting a 3PL provider. So we're going to think about these ones. Three part logistics service improve customer satisfaction with accurate order fulfillment and on-time delivery. Uh, 3PL reduce current costs. So we're going to go and discuss about this. If you think it's correct and why not? Because when we get back, we're going to have like a debate, okay? Is it clear? Okay. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Okay, very nice. So two activities, okay? This is more speaking. So I want you to uh, get advantages uh, of the time and speak. Quiero que aprovechen el tiempo y que hablen, ¿verdad? No en Spanish, in English, okay? I want you to debate in English. Okay, very nice. So right now, I'm gonna stop sharing here. Yeah, I think everybody's in the same, so. Would you like to work with the same ones or do you want to change? It's okay, teacher. Okay, so we go, there we go. If you have any problem, just let me know, okay? In order to get to your room. Okay, Oscar. Exercise two. Hi, hello, Mariano. 
Give me one minute for pressing the... Okay. Can you see? Yeah. Yes, uh, the first match that are related to logistic today, meaning of the ride. Transportation, what is transportation? Number of, of, of outsourcing a free part logistics provider. Excuse me? Uh, the exercise number two, pair work. The allows companies which relate to remove or minimize the risks associated oh, with. Yeah, but we have to start with vocabulary. Match the terms related to logistics to their meanings, meanings on the right. And Vinny, read the number one. A person that allows company with risk or minimize their risk associated with various kind investment. What do you think? What is this? A function that allows companies which rely to remove or minimize the risks associated with big investment. Leticia, ¿cómo está? Hi, teacher. Le voy, le voy a agregar con otro grupo para, para que puedan trabajar. Ok, thank you. Ok, welcome. Mm -hmm. The provides protection against in risk of physical loss or damage to free free claim insurance. Mm -hmm. Porque la siguiente, la de Next, is a legal demand by a shipper. Cargo insurance puede hacer eso. A legal demand by mm -hmm. a shipper to a carrier for final financial competition for a loss or damage of a shipment. Before. Mm -hmm. Maybe four. Off a, off a ship. The number four. Cargo insurance. ¿Qué es insurance? What do you mean? Insurance. Insurance. <laughs> the number two. The definition was number two. I, okay. Wait a second. Private flight management. The first option? Yeah, maybe. A function that allows company which really, re, re, no sé, really. To, to, to move, to remove, to remove. To remove or minimize the risk associated with. What? I don't know. Equal investment. Really? Okay, maybe try to focus on what we already have. Uh, 
For example, the last one, small package services, is obviously involves our package shipments that weigh less than 150 pounds. Then the other that we sure that that is, is transportation, right? Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. What is the uh, the other that we sure that that is the correct answer? Right, claim insurance, a legal demand by okay. a shipper. Nice. So okay. we have one, five, and the third one. We only left the private flood management and cargo insurance. And we only have to answer uh, a, the first one, a function that allows and provides protection against all risk. Okay, maybe. You see, for me, it's number two. Aha, uh -huh. provides protection. Maybe for me, it's number two. Yes, because you have a private fleet. You, you are the only owner for merchandising for goods exactly. and you reduce the risk to loss goods or damage okay and obviously cargo insurance it will be the first one a function that allows companies which really to remove or minimize the risk associated with vehicle investment Okay. No, private protections, ¿verdad? ¿Ah? Private protections. Perdón, private fleet management. Yeah. A function that allow companies... That would be cargo insurance. What is cargo insurance, the first? Yeah. Yeah. It's number four. Okay. Okay, this is um. another... Pero... What is investment? No estoy segura si es invertir. Investment. Como inversión. Yes. No. Investment yes. is like la, the way you put your money to work. Pero es que te dice la función que le permite a las compañías eh, remover o minimizar los riesgos asociados con la inversión de un vehículo. Uh -huh. No, es, me suena más a private fleet management. Maybe because I don't know the meaning of fleet. Right. So I don't, I don't understand that because I, I don't recognize that word. Because, because cargo insurance is como una, un seguro de la carga. Mm -hmm. Entonces, lo que te provee es una protección de todos los riesgos físicos, de todos los riesgos de pérdida física o daños en el transporte o para su transportación. Mm -hmm. Entonces, yo tengo duda porque puede ser que yo pueda yo puedo poner acá cuatro y aquí pongo dos bueno viendo lo que usted menciona muy posiblemente sea esa que está mencionando o sea que es al revés porque Ajá. está hablando de algo privado también yo en eso me estoy basando porque como le digo I don't know the meaning of flat no uh -huh. sé qué significa Okay, uh, fleet is um, okay, fleet. Flota. Ajá, uh -huh, yeah, es una, es una carga también, ¿verdad? 
de transportar una carga de algo. Y en Una cars, flota. Which one? in the other case, cargo, what, what, what's the meaning of that? Cargo, Car cargo. Ah, oh, cargo, cargo insurance. insurance. Yes, insurance. Remember, insurance is una, un seguro, right? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. O la aseguranza que dice la gente. La aseguranza. Yes, la aseguranza. Ajá. <laughs> Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, in my personal opinion, is two. And it was number four because the normally the, the, the car insurance. Uh, give uh, a protection with uh, love. Cuando se pierde alguna carga o algún daño, te cubre el seguro. Okay. I agree. Pienso yo. So, according to that, the first answer will be the, the second. Yes. Yes. Yes, Okay. and the, the last part in the sentence say, with vehicle investment Okay. and the, the private fleet management uh, is my investment Yes. in my fleet. Es tu propia la gestión de la de la flota privada, o sea que tú invertiste en tus propios eh, camiones de transportación si lo quieres para mover tu carga. That's right. Así lo veo. So, okay. And the exercise number four. They said the third party logistics service improve. Mm. Dis discuss the following advantage of hiring of hiring a uh, 3PL. What is the 3PL? The teacher is here. The teacher is, sti is still here? Yes. Yes. Okay, teacher, what meaning 3PL? Is the three party, the, the, the same that you were discussing Ah, in the book. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not concentrated. <laughs> okay. <laughs> three party logistic is that reducing that way. <laughs> ah, the third party logistic. Okay. <laughs> okay, very nice. Okay, thanks. Third logistic service improve customer satisfaction, maybe. And securing order fulfill and on time delivery. Yes, maybe. Maybe improve the customer satisfaction. 3P, reduce current cost, cost management is the number one priority. I think the option is letter C. 3PL reduce risk. This includes a range of risk like genuine issues, environmental risk, and supply chain performance risk. Mm -hmm. Because when I hiring, hiring a 3PL provider, the responsibility of the 3PL provider for distributing transportation and um, say the cargo Mm -hmm. yes uh, I think is is reduce the the risk The reason and the scopes and the and the cops too, because the the risks are shared between the service providers and the company. I don't think the reduce cost is the principal because <laughs> you 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 hire a one provider to spend your money in other company, but you you can reduce risk. 
Okay. And you have one, one provider. Eh, no sé cómo se dice que responda por el daño. Entonces. Respond with the damage. ¿Cómo, cómo? Que responda por los daños sería response uh -huh. or compensation, compensation for a love. For the risk. For, a love of for, damage. For damage. Charge for... off. Getting charged off también. Ah, sí. Uh -huh. Can you repeat that, teacher, please? Get in charge of. Get a, in a charge reward. of. In charge of. In charge of. Yes. Okay. Philippians reduce risk. This includes a range of risks like issue, union issues, environmental risks and supply chain performance risk. Okay. Teacher, we are finished. You already discussed? Yes. Okay. So good. <laughs> I've been listening to you. <laughs> okay, very nice. We're going to be back. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, do you finish already? Yes, teacher. Okay, very nice. Excellent.
Awesome. Okay. Do you all finish, right? Finish. Huh. Okay, awesome. Very good. Okay. So um let's let's check which ones do you have in the part of the chart that you have to fulfill. We're going to share the screen right now. Let me let me check if you can watch the screen. Yeah. Do you watch the screen? I think I have to make it a little bit bigger. Yeah. It's better, right? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So right now I want you to listen to Walter. Walter, can you please read the part that is marked? Okay. Uh a function that allows companies which relay to remove or minimize the risk associated with vehicle investment. Okay, a function that allows companies which rely to remove or minimize the risks associated with the vehicle investment. So which number do you have in, in this part of the, oh my God, which, uh, number do you have here? We have number two. Number two. Okay, very nice. The rest, do you have something different? Number two. Number two, okay, very nice. The rest? Number two. Number two. Number two, I agree, I agree. Okay, so everybody is with number two, private fleet management. Okay, awesome, very nice, very good. Let's go to another part. We have the next ones. Okay, let's listen to Aminda. Okay, envelopes or packets shipments that weigh less than 150 pounds? Pounds, 150 pounds. Pounds, yeah. Okay, envelopes and packaged shipments that weigh less than 150 pounds. Awesome, very nice. Me sure. Yeah. Um, this writing LBS is correct in English when you said pounds. Yes. You can write LBS. Yeah, yeah. You can write LBS and it's going what to What is be the pronunciation? Pounds. Oh, okay, the LBS. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's a way to write it, but you're gonna pronounce pounds. Mm. Okay. In this case, because we're talking about Salvadorian, because this, this model is applying to Salvadorian. Because it's created with terms about Salvadorian things, so that's why. Okay, very nice. Uh, Minda, which number do you have here? Um, number five. Number five. Okay. Number five, two. And the rest number five two okay. Mm -hmm. What yeah, about number five. number five? Everybody has number five. Okay, he's number two. Oh my god, yes, number two. And here the rest. Number five. Everybody number five. Okay, awesome. Very good. So it's small package service, right? Very nice. Awesome. Let's go with the next part. Um, can you let me listen to? I have already chosen one. I don't know what happened here. Oscar, can you please read this part? Provide protection against a rise of sickness, loss, damage to friends. 
Okay. Provides protection against all risks or physical loss or damage to freight. Okay. Which one do you have there, Oscar? Which number? Number four. Car insurance. Number four, cargo insurance. Okay, what about the rest? Do you have the same? Number two. Number four. Yeah, number four. Number four. No, I, I heard number two. No, three. Teacher. Three. Ah, three. Okay, number three, and the rest it says number four, right? Okay. Yes, number four. It's number four. Okay. We're here with number four, yes, cargo insurance, because it's talking about provide protection against all risks of physical loss or damage to freight. When we talk about the freight, it's like the same to talk about the, es como decir la carga, ¿verdad? Okay, very nice, awesome. Let me listen to the next part in here. Uh, let me listen to Belen. Okay, um, a legal demand by a shipper to a carrier for financial compensation for a loss or damage of a shipment. A legal demand by a shipper to a carrier for financial compensation for loss or damage of a shipment. Okay, this is? Do you have this one, number three, or number yes. one? Number three. Number three. Yeah, it's number three, right? Because you claim. Number three. Yeah. Okay, suffer claim insurance, number three. So because you uh, legal demand by a shipper to carry the financial compensation for the loss of the damage of the shipment. Very nice. And the last one, I just want you to read this part. I want you to listen to Yvette. Um, the physical process of transporting commodities, 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 uh -huh. commodities uh, merchandise, goods, and cargo. Okay, very nice. Number one, right? Transportation. Okay, the physical process of transporting commodities or merchandise, goods, and cargo. Okay, awesome. So this is part of the vocabulary that you have already done. Okay, uh, do you have any doubt about pronunciation in some of them? Commodities, please. Commodities, commodities, or commodities, whatever you want to pronounce. Okay, what what another word do you have in some doubt? Um, Wait. Against, against. 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 Against a weight. 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 Okay, against and weight. What what another word or which word? Next to which in the first sentence? Next, which one do you say? The, which in the first sentence, in the first options? Rely. Company which relied. Rely. 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 This one, private. Private, repeat private. 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 Okay, it's not private, it's private, okay? Private. Okay. Uh, management. Repeat management. 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 Okay. Legal. 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 Le legal. Legal demand. Legal demand. Legal, legal demand. Okay. Very nice. Uh, let me check here. 
envelops 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 packaged 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 okay very and nice and these song like tea which one packaged packaged, packaged. yes sang as tea packaged packaged okay this one risks 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 okay risks. very nice so now that you discuss these ones because you already discussed in the groups right so i want you to have like a debate and which one do you think i'm sorry my microphone was off so what do you think about this third party logistics service for improve customer satisfaction with an accurate order fulfillment and on time delivery which what do you think about this one um, not always is is this is like this Okay, not always it's like this. It, it can have some difference in some cases. Yvette, it can change in some situations. Uh, yes, in some situation, I, I have a, some experience with, with the um, 3PL. Provider. Okay, very nice. Awesome. Okay, what about the rest? What do you have in the in that case? What do you think about? You discussed that, so I I I suppose that you have the words in order to debate about that, right? Teacher, in my case, I'm kind of confused. A lot of these terminus. Uh, maybe I don't handle it so much, but the, the third party, when you talk about this, you also mention it about the outsource. So I'm confused because I don't, I, I don't know exactly what is the meaning of third party. It's something about logistics, yes, but I don't, I don't get that. Okay, when we, when we talk about three-party logistics, it's like a way of our, our method that you use in order to provide a good service to your customers. Okay. In, the, in this case, it's like the way of distributing something or doing something, you put some uh, some ways in the case of thinking about customer service and and all the, the rest of the things, right? Okay. So, uh -huh, yeah. And it has to deal with outsourcing because it is also a, a good part of that because you provide service, but you want to provide a, a good um, you, you want to have a good service for the customer okay what about a little b 2pl reduced current cost cost management it's still the number of one priority for shippers and 2pls often offer an advantages across the cost of their total operations what do you think about That it's true, teacher. That is true? Yeah, it's true because obviously it can reduce the cost of, of different areas. In this case, uh, it's talking about the shippers, but not only that, the operations. Oh, well, also say that their total operations they are, uh, are reduced of the cost. Awesome, very nice. Okay, very good. What about the the rest? What do you think about? Okay, let's go with number C. Uh Rosiva, can you please read letter C? Yes, Let's see, 
This includes a range of ways like learning issues, environmental risk, and supply chain performance risk. Okay, 3PL reduce risk. This includes a range of risks like onion issues, environmental risk, and supply chain performance risk. So what do you think about this one? Do you think was is correct? I think not sure because the, the risk is not only the TPRs. This includes the, the company that contract TPRs too. The, the risk is a, for both company, but the major risk is the company contract to the TPRs because the, the, the company uh, practice uh, some things like, uh, how do you say, operation. Uh, I don't remember the, I, sorry teacher, because I have a little sleep, but. Okay, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> but I think it's not, it's not a reduce the risk, is my. Because include a uh, risk in the company that contract TPLs, including methods or or um, I'm I don't remember the the the, the name. exactly uh, term. Uh -huh, occupation uh profes occupation no occupation or no uh, profession occupational a professional occupation. Professional occupation is in the company that contract to the TPLs. Oh, okay, awesome, very good, perfect. Very nice. Okay, students, so I think time is over, so we have to take a tennis list. But first, I want you to, to take uh, some observations about the uh, platform. Okay. Uh, remember, you have to fulfill some information in a platform, okay? So you need to do some homeworks, right? Have you checked the platform? Not yet. Not yet, ah, teacher. Okay, and remember. Okay. okay, very good. Remember, you have a daily homework. And of course, uh, the end of the week, you need to finish uh, the five homeworks that you have at the end of the week. In the case of the last um, unit, which was unit one, so it has five classes. So you have five different homeworks for that week, week one or unit one. For the second week, you have another five because uh, the second week is going to be finished tomorrow because we stop on Thursday and Friday, okay? So we're going to finish the week tomorrow. So you have to finish the five homeworks of the second unit and you have a midterm too. Okay. Voy en Spanish. Para que quede clarito como el agua. Eh, por cada unidad tenemos cinco tareas en la plataforma. Por cada unidad. Eh, tenemos que ir llenando una diaria. Okay, si usted la llena diaria, bien. Pero si no, usted la puede decidir. Hacerlo las cinco en el último día. Que le va a tomar un poco más de tiempo, ¿verdad? Y después, eh, si en este caso de esta semana que hay examen, hacer el examen. La semana primera, como era de lunes a viernes, terminamos bien porque eran los cinco días corridos. Esta segunda semana va a terminar mañana porque paramos el jueves y el viernes. Entonces, lunes y martes cuentan como la segunda semana. Ya el miércoles iniciamos con la tercera semana. ¿verdad? Entonces, ustedes tienen que llenar ese dato. Y para el martes antes de la medianoche, yo necesito que ustedes hayan completado las diez tareas y que hayan completado el examen final, que va dividido en cuatro partes. El examen final, perdón, el examen medio, ¿verdad? Martes eh, está hablando del 20. Martes está hablando, ya yes, de mañana. Mañana. Mañana 20. 
Ajá. Porque digamos que hoy es como que si fuera jueves y el martes es como, como que si estemos hablando de viernes de la semana pasada, que se suspendieron, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, cada unidad contempla cinco clases de dos horas. Entonces, estamos hablando que ahí vamos a completar la unidad dos. Entonces, ustedes necesitan llenar eso porque eso es un requerimiento obligatorio para ustedes. ¿Verdad? En, porque, ajá. Entonces, tenemos que hacer las, las cinco tareas de la unidad uno y las cinco tareas de la unidad dos. Sí, hay algunos que ya tienen... Eh, las la cinco de la unidad uno ¿verdad? hay otros que no la han hecho hay otros que tienen unas cuantas la, ahora ustedes tienen que completar las de la unidad dos ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. okay. y de la unidad dos también tienen un, un examen medio ¿verdad? o sea que no les van a preguntar nada más que no sea que lo que hayamos visto acá ahora lo que yo les he dado extra como los conditionals es algo que no les va a aparecer ahí ¿verdad? yo se los he dado extra para que ustedes eh, manejen los condicionales en este caso el zero of fish first fish digo yo fish estaba diciendo ok first eh, que son parte de información extra que les he, les he entregado a ustedes para que lo manejen pero en cuanto al término de lo que va a estar en la plataforma es directamente lo del if right entonces sí que ustedes tienen que eh, trabajar en ese sentido y son ejercicios que han tenido que practicar en clase porque esas notas yo las tengo que agregar, ¿verdad? Yo tengo que pasarla, por ejemplo, ya a la de mañana en la noche. Yo después de que ustedes hayan hecho eso, yo tengo que pasar todo ese cuadro al, acá al, al sistema. Así que yo estuve revisando el, a finalizar la semana anterior porque el, el jueves les iba a decir esto. Pero era cayó 15, entonces les iba a decir el viernes, pero como se suspendió, así que se los digo hoy. Este, todo ese proceso de que hay que hacer. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta. No, ¿verdad? No, ¿sí, Belén? Everything is clear, teacher. Clear like water. Yep. Ok, very nice. Cualquier cosa que tengan dudas, por si hay alguna parte de la tarea que les salga mala, eh, avisen, ¿verdad? Porque a veces, como es sistema, puede ser que una coma que ustedes le pongan ya no se las acepta, o un punto o una letra mayúscula intermedia, entonces puede que eso pase. Hubo el caso de una... Ajá. A homework, but I don't remember their norm, the number, but it's... Yo creo que fue usted la que me dio la vez pasada del ejercicio número 5, de, de la tarea 5, el ejercicio 2, parece. Yes, this one. Ok, ya, ya está corregido, ya, wow. ya lo reporté. Thank ¿Verdad que usted fue que me mandó un mensaje y me dijo, mire, esto no me ha salido bien? ¿O me lo dijo aquí, parece, en la clase? No, no, no. Ok, vaya, pero sí hubo alguien que me comentó sobre esa tarea sí, y ya está algo. resuelto. Y si hay otra que les aparezca mala, solo mándenme la captura y me la, me la envían a WhatsApp por privado y yo le reporto para que de pronto aparezca, por lo mismo que les decía. Ok, no question, ¿verdad? No ok. Los estudiantes están claritos como el agua. Very nice. So, as soon as you listen your name, please send me present, ok? Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Ok. Aminda René Figueroa de Manzano. Present. Ok. Belén Batre García. Present, teacher. Ok. Carlos William Membreño Núñez. Present. Ok. Debbie Jasmine Girón Ramírez. Ok, Domingo Alexander González. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Ok. Oscar Alnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Ok. Rosibel del Carmen López. Present teacher. Ok. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present. Ok. Sony Betal Barenga. Present. Ok. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Mariano, ustedes tienen que quedar conmigo después de la clase. Ok, teacher. Ok. Uh, Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. 
Present. Okay. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Okay. Wendy Karina Morales Amay. Okay, students. Uh, see you tomorrow. The class has finished. Have a nice dreams today. Okay. Good night. Thanks. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Okay. Good see you night. tomorrow. Good night. Okay. Okay, Mariano, uh, this space is for you in order to uh, have some questions or something that you have any doubt about the topics, you can uh, ask me here because I can ask you or you can ask me directly, I can answer directly to you if you have any doubt about the topics that we have seen. Great uh, I don't have a question or in a specific topic, I think I understand uh, everything. And no, no everything, but the most most, of, most of the classes are like uh, clear for you in the at the moment. Yes, I think. No grammatical uh, doubts about the topics we have seen? Mm. Not exactly. Not exactly. Well, I, I remember and especially, no. Okay, the zero conditional and the first conditional is clear? Mm. Yes? Zero conditional, yes. The first conditional. So, so okay remember that the the zero conditional we use simple present and simple present in and both simple present. yes okay and the first conditional we use in the condition statement we use simple present and in the result we use uh future you the can future. use will or be going to right you know to talk okay. about first condition the first condition yeah. yes the first condition so um you are free to think about which one to use according to what you want to talk about the rest of the people. If you want to talk about present things, so you use uh, zero condition. Zero conditional. Yes. yes. If you want to talk about future results, you use first, uh, first condition. Conditional. Okay. Yes. Okay, Bernie, I think everything is clear, right? Yes, you sure. Okay, very nice, mister. So I uh, hope to see you tomorrow and have a good night, okay? Okay, this year, good night. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.